So what a way here in the bottom of the second. Let's check in with Emily Austin with some special guests. Yes, Dwayne, I have found Taylor Motter's parents, Lori and Bill. They're questioning how I stalked them down out here. But yes, I was able to find him. Lori, what a week this probably has been for you. Can you put it into words? I really can't. I mean, it's been so surreal. It's almost, it's like so many mixed emotions, crying and, and jumping for joy and seeing him on the field with the people that he idolizes. Like yesterday, I mean, he waited with Miguel Cabrera being on first base. He waited since he was 11 years old for an autograph from Miguel. And here he is standing right next to Miguel. And Miguel's like sloughing his hair. <laughs> Oh my God, it was too much for me, I'll tell you. Gotta love the blonde locks. When I was talking with Taylor before the game, that was funny you said that. He said he was talking or answering another reporter's question, saying, yeah, these guys are playing really well. I mean, us, we're playing really well. And I was like, Taylor, has it not sunk in yet that you're one of these guys now? So I'm sure it hasn't sunk in for you just a weekend. No, it really hasn't. Every day we just keep, I haven't slept for a week. <laughs> it's like, I just keep saying, Am I dreaming this? Am I dreaming this? Because this is something that he has dreamed for so long. And it is so exciting just to see. He doesn't even need to say a word. It's just the smile on his face from ear to ear. It's so wonderful as a mother to see that. Such a great opportunity for him. And uh, we're, we're not going to take you away to the game from the game, so you can still be locked in here. But let's talk a little bit about the hair, the locks. Are you a fan of this look? I, I mean, I am. We all are. Okay, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Not my favorite look. <laughs> hey, as long as he's playing well, that's all that matters. So, Dad didn't really, wasn't sure if he wanted to do the interview. Bill is supposed to be at work. You called in yep, sick. I but I feel like if your boss is watching this, then it's kind of a pass to watch your son playing a Major League Baseball game. Well, I hope he'll understand. I, I think he will. I think he'll, he'll be all right with it. So are you surprised that your son has made it to the major league level or did you know all along that he had what it took? I kind of had the feeling he'd be able to make it. He's been passionate about it since he was four years old and it's just been uh, just been a, a rough ride for him to get to where he is. But he's he's moved along step, every step of the way and he's done really well. And it seems like he's going to do whatever it takes. His, he's played six different positions in spring training for the Rays. His major league debut played at short and in the outfield. Talk about his versatility as a ball player. You know, he's always been a shortstop, and when the Rays brought him in and they moved him around, and you could just tell he was he was good at every position that they put him in. And he's, you know, like I said, he's never really played any other position but shortstop. But to see him excel at all the other spots is really special. Well, he is such a great guy in the clubhouse to talk to and get to know. So, you guys were great. Thank you so much for letting me come up here and find you and interview you. Very nice meeting both of you. Thank you so much. Dwayne, we'll send it back up to you. All right, Emily, thank you very much. Well, you've you've never really lived until your hair has been fluffed by Miguel Cabrera. <laughs> Can you imagine that? This is the guy he loved and idolized, you know, as a Marlins fan growing up. And now all of a sudden, the guy's messing with you at first base. I love how you can be a major leaguer and still have your mom say cut that hair. Yeah. Yeah. And that, <laughs> I like that. You know he's got a mom who tells you the truth. <laughs>